Hello. Good morning. Kuru Shmiz, Dennis. Irish nonsense. Lou Rib Moot Lava, you're new. It's fantastic. That's great. Right. Glad to see so many familiar faces. I'm good. I'm good. So, uh, throw me some uh, topics and let's get rolling. Hey, Captain Jetlag, Derbart, Michal. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yesterday was my son's Christmas party at his school. Crazy. Tons of kids. Oh no, Dennis. 1007 followers. <laughs> uh, There's gonna be whiskey time, people. <laughs> oh no. Right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. Mute Lava. No, you're just not a very regular. I didn't really recognize your nickname that well. Uh, yeah, drunk stream confirmed. So, um, let me roll the dice. Big, 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 number one. So, Steampunk Medic. Steampunk Medic is uh, the topic by Lou Rib. Woohoo! Steampunk Medic by Lou Rib. Congratulations! Uh. Oh. Oh, I didn't see that. That was the. I thought it was just some random chatter. All right. Ment. Oh, is it mantis? The the. The bug, mantis, wearing. To big coat. By. Schmitz. That's fine. That's fine. Mistake corrected. Sorry, Lou Rib. Hey, Greg, Sim Greg Simon. Good morning. Oh, oh, what a failure on my end. All right. Let's get this party started. <laughs> All right, so um, all right, I have a picture in my head. What? Not again? Oh, what's with what's with the like? Switch off. Restart drivers. I have to pause. That's crazy. The drivers died again. This is like the second warm up in a row where the where the stream. Just doesn't wanna, or doesn't wanna, the drivers doesn't wanna work. All right. Hey, Kilrathi, good morning, good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so I have this picture of um, like a mantis, um, you know, like um, in Kung Fu Panda, like a action. Uh, version of a mantis 
and the code is kind of flying in the air. So that's what I'm going to be chasing image wise. Whoa. Uh, the the driver ended, so I had to switch off Photoshop. So probably did something with uh, the stream, but uh, I restarted everything, and you should see. And now everything should be up as 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 per usual. Good, good, good. Uh, right. So drunk stream. <laughs> um, I think um, in order to get get things uh, properly organized, um, um, I think instead of like making a post on Facebook about it or um, Twitter. I will um, um, after this week, I will make a post about thirty minute warm up on my website, uh, beyondhurry.com, and um, where in the comment section uh, you can link your uh, portfolio or whatever you want. Um, or whatever you want to um, have me look at. Uh, so I'll just go through the comment section um, and just go down the, the list of, of linked portfolios. What do you think of that? Is that a is that a good solution? Do you find that okay, or is there anyone else with a better su suggestion of how to to uh, get the or drunk stream organized by looking at your stuff, paint overs and things? Because you can't be just kind of bombarding the chat with with links. All right. Well, I think I think I'll I'll leave the the people being able to post. Um, I, 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 the drunk stream won't be this year, um, so it's going to be next year um, because you know Christmas and then New Year's Eve. I can't like just <laughs> be drunk in the middle of the week either because I you know I have kids uh, and they need to be taken care of. Uh, so I think like uh, first weekend. Uh, maybe first week and then next year, which is the January 7th. So that'll be two weeks of people being able to post links, uh, portfolio stuff. And I'll just, I'll put timer on. I was thinking of putting the time, oh, whoa, whoa. I'm going to put 20 minutes on the timer. Uh, I'm going to, like, time people's, Feedback. So I'm just going to go down the list. Yeah, I think I think I'll do a hangout. Definitely, people can talk. Uh, I mean, especially the person with the uh, portfolio. Uh, Hey, Georg. Uh, Irish nonsense. I, I don't think it matters. Whatever you want to want me to have a look at. Uh, you know, it could be one image or your portfolio or a collection of images. Just 
just post it in, in you know, I'm going to make a post on my website where you can just make a comment on the post and uh, and you know whatever you feel like it's a good thing for me to look at so you got two weeks um, I'm going to make that post um, this today ideally and um, and you have two weeks to to organize yourself to post something uh, I think that's a fair um, fair solution right Lurib, it doesn't need to be a portfolio. You can just post your latest painting or your concept or or model, you know, whatever. I mean, obviously, I'm not the modeler. I can't comment on the technical aspect, but I could, like, look at something that's, you know, like a model, and I could comment on it from a, a, a concept artist's point of view, right? Uh, so whatever you feel like I should look at and, and talk about, uh, make sure to post it. Otherwise, you know, take the opportunity. It doesn't matter. You'll you'll uh, you'll be able to show your stuff, uh, you know, and get some pointers. You know, whether there are there are pointers you take to heart or not. You know, it doesn't matter. It's it's always valid to. Uh, hear someone's uh, uh, thoughts. <laughs> Captain Jet Lag, yeah. Uh, well, I'm obviously not going to be like a, absolutely shit drunk, but I'm definitely going to be drinking and, and uh, doing portfolio reviews and paint overs and things like that uh, for a couple of hours uh, just to kind of give it back to you wonderful people. Um, I think that's uh, that'll, that'll be really fun. No, I won't be drunk. It's just a little, you know, I will just have some drinks. Like, uh, if you've ever been on a stream on, on, a, on a Friday, like, I'm having two glasses of wine and talking shit, you know, it's not like I'm going to be incoherent or anything. <laughs> Besides, like, I have children, so, you know, it can't be too crazy. Just nice and relaxed. Emphasis on feedback and, and 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 portfolio review, and less emphasis on being shit faced. And Michael, oh no, yeah, my reviews, um, if you ever had your portfolio reviewed by me, I've done hundreds and hundreds of portfolio reviews on workshops. Uh, I try to be honest um, and quite, um, not hard, but um, truthful of what, from my point of view, um, you know, I try to be fair and, and, and honest. That's that's about the best way to sum it up. Irish nonsense. You shouldn't be hesitant. You know, everyone is be beginner at some point, and uh, and if you can get pointers from someone. You know, like I mentioned before, even though it maybe it's not, maybe you don't take the pointers to heart or 
whatever, you know, it's always beneficial to have someone else's point of view, especially if they take time to uh, sit and give you their impressions of your art and where you potentially could take them further, you know. Uh, it's only beneficial. Of course, it, it hurts. Uh, <laughs> the ego hurts uh, when when you you uh, give your art to someone to to uh, criticize more or less. But it it should be seen as a positive thing. Um, and not everything that I will say is going to be the absolute truth. Is it going to be my point of view? So that's also something that's uh, positive to, to keep in mind. But shouldn't dismiss just because it's my point of view. Uh, you know, it's my impression of, of the art. So it's uh, whether you agree or not, it's going to be my impression of it, which means that it is what you're showing, regardless if that was your intent. Uh, you know, that, you know, you know, I hope you understand, I would kind of. Rambling a bit. But it's okay, Irish nonsense. You don't need to be like super ambitious, you know. It could be just a fun thing to do, you know, even though you're maybe not like, you know, super hardcore. That's cool, Koro. That's really good. Cool. But it has to be constructive. It just can't be. You just can't have your stuff shat on. You know, it has to be constructive and an attempt to uh, uh, construct feedback in a way which is aiding your progress and not just saying this is shit, this is bad. You know, that doesn't help anyone. The best way is to, to get feedback where where you uh, argue your, your uh, point of view and how to change it, like on my end, you know, like if, if, if I'm saying that like this could be a better design or whatever, uh, wrong, you know, improve the colors, I always try to have a constructive aspect to it where, where I give pointers or, or suggestions of how to take it further. But usually what happens is that most portfolios uh, contain the contain the same problems. A lot of rep repeating mistakes of a lot of artists. But um, in the post on my website, I'm going to write um, some information that I would like you to fill in. Uh, most mostly mostly like uh, what do you want to work as you know illustrator and concept artist is completely two different things um, and those kind of things you know like uh, just so that we are on the same page of um, the feedback because I, I can't give feedback based on as an illustrator if you want to be a concept artist there's slightly different difference in uh, feedback. Uh, Lurib, the deadline would be up to the day before the stream. Uh, Schmeiz, um, 
that is uh, very um, subjective based on the place you're hiring. Um, but think of it like um, if they have to read the about section, I'd say it's a matter of them questioning or researching if you would fit the studio, right? So think about what you're putting in, in the about section uh, as a term of convincing data if, if like HR or whatever is looking into like should we hire this guy or a girl you know we don't know who this is will they fit into our studio mostly that's why uh, they have an on-site interview to kind of gauge who you are you know are you upbeat are you like rude you know whatever um, that's why they have uh, interviews to kind of gauge if you're a crazy person or not. And uh, like for online stuff, you know, like uh, your about section or in your CV or about, it's whatever date that can be good to convince them to hire you. So like, oh, I'm a easy person that is easy to work with. I have these kind of education to prove, you know, to back up the, the, statements that I'm educated or whatever, you know, the, these things are always good. And also, uh, mind you that I'm not familiar with American standards uh, of hiring people. I know that it's different and uh, they probably go more by the data than, uh, I don't know, I don't know at all. So uh, that actually, uh, that actual aspect I think Americans are way more corporate when it comes to that, and there's probably some sort of standards that you need to uphold. Uh, I think if it's going to be in-house in America, you you got to tick the boxes. Uh, that's as far as I kind of grasp it. But um, for freelance, it doesn't really matter. It's good to show a friendly face, I guess. Hey, good morning, Aaron. Welcome. Nereida, good morning. Did that help at all? <laughs> I don't know if it did. Like there's a lot of um, CVs are only important like when when you pass the initial should we hire this guy or girl, right? So then you start looking at if you have more competitors for the same position, then all the data that's uh, available are going to be weighed uh, and compared to other applicants. So that's also something to, worth keeping in mind. Like, uh, what you, uh, what you're presenting. It's very important in that sense to be professional about it. And, you know, like, okay to be silly, but it can't be all silly. Like, on my about section in my, uh, on my website, I drink, you know, tea with a funny pinky out. You know, that's a little bit, you know, showing a little bit who I am, but it's still the, like, my about section is super old and I'm redoing my website 
but uh, yeah, my whole website is not really a portfolio. So my, my website is not a good example of how it should be uh, f to like, fully maximize the potential. Um, that is changing. I'm working on it. a change with the uh, passengers uh, 47 or 74. Uh, Shmei as well. You should try. You should try to to have words there. Because if you don't have an about section, they'll go like, uh, why isn't there any information about it? And maybe you won't... Uh, maybe you, you'll lose the job by default because you don't have enough information there for them to to gauge who you are I know passenger uh, 47 he's very keen on uh, 74 I mean he's very keen on this and he's he 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 wants to kind of and I agree uh, that uh, it's a really important aspect that not a lot of people care about like even having your own website if you want to get work you know it, it's something that should be um, something that you should invest in like uh, the day when um, CG Hub went offline all of a sudden everyone's portfolio <laughs> was on CG Hub and then they were like oh shit where should I put my art now you know hey Dr. Siege The, you don't need a life story. Just think about what could convince a company to hire you. You know, like, oh, they need to know my uh, past history of work, uh, education most likely, and a short bio about you and what you like to do. Hi, I'm Schmeiz. I love doing characters. Uh, I would love to be in-house, uh, have an in-house position at a good studio so that I could learn X, Y, and Z. Um, I love teamwork. Uh, it's something I love being creative or whatever, you know. Or weigh that and compare that to no information. And they just look at your art and go, hmm, who's this guy? I don't know. Should we hire him? Hmm, I don't know. Look at this person. This person has info. <laughs> You know, it's just simple like that, and you can lose lose a contract. Yeah, you shouldn't have like a novel. <laughs> Uh, you don't have a portfolio. You shouldn't lie in your portfolio. That is horrible. You'll you'll just pay for it afterwards. Don't don't lie in your portfolio. That's no way, shape, or form uh, productive for you. You're, you're just going to have to pay for it later. Horror stories. There's so many horror stories, especially like um, people being hired on some other people's art. And uh, then they're getting hired 
and then they can't perform, they can't match the art they've stolen in their portfolios, and they get they get fired and totally discredited for the future of their own art, even if they if they do like learn the lesson and study hard and and try to save face that that uh, that impression that you you're an art thief or a, or a con artist is still going to be there and you can wash that off so easily what's really important to remember is that your name is your brand in this industry You know, you should it doesn't need to be people want to be professional. Just if you love doing art and you want to have me look at it, you should feel free to do that as well. It's not like this is only for professionals. Anyone doing art, I will look at it. It's fun. All right, so time is up. I will um, end the stream and uh, instantly afterwards uh, go back up for the extra stream. Um, it's not going to be a very long stream today because I need to go get my son from school earlier. Um, but uh, I will most likely stream once more, uh, possibly. Uh, at least it's going to be a one hour stream after this. So. Uh, Let's continue talking about portfolio when I return. Uh, so um, thanks everyone for coming on the 30 minute warm up. Uh, after this stream, just right after uh, it goes offline, I will come back up with uh, painting and the illustration and continue talking. Uh, see you soon.